I mean, the true purpose of SpaceX, from what I understand, is actually the colonization of Mars. Do you expect that That's to That's a goal of his? No, no, he wants to, he wants to terraform it. Terraform, and colonize. yeah. That's a goal. Okay. Uh, I don't mind that as a goal if it gets you other achievements en route. Who doesn't know about Elon Musk? His ideas, ideals, and everything he does along the tech lines and beyond doesn't escape the media's view. For that matter alone, millions have interesting views about his endeavors. And Neil deGrasse here is not about to keep quiet about his opinions. Elon Musk has his hands on every other industry you can think of. But more recently, his space activity has drawn so much attention thanks to his rocket, the Starship. Musk's idea of starting a civilization on a different planet seems to be the farthest a wild imagination can fly. Only for Musk, it is his constant dream to live on Mars and probably breathe his last there. As far as this Martian dream is concerned, Elon Musk has made aggressive progress to ensure he achieves his dream in his lifetime. First off, the SpaceX CEO has a whole team of dedicated employees. Many rockets and a relentless determination to reach Mars. Then again, he has made giant strides in attaining bits of his dream. One of which is his rocket, the Starship. The enormous space giant holds the world's record as the biggest rocket on the planet, beating companies like NASA in their own game. Close to that is its ability to transport the highest amount of cargo a rocket has ever shipped beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Then again, this rocket will use an alternative fuel that is cheaper and easier to find. Amidst the world's outcry of natural calamities and climate change, the Mars idea is growing more appealing with time. After all, who wants to live in constant fear of the next earthquake volcanic eruption, and a future tainted with bleak prospects of the ill effects of climate change. Elon Musk has proven time and again that he can attain seemingly impossible feats. His current Journey to Mars project has amassed huge followers of wannabe Mars citizens. Expect that Tyson thinks that Musk's idea of colonizing Mars doesn't make sense. He in fact calls it a delusion. DeGrasse is adamant that Musk's Mars idea is not a plausible venture. He first acknowledged that he sees no laws of physics that prevent his Mars idea, but then shifted to explain that Elon Musk's idea is not sensible. What I will say is, we're still running away from hurricanes. Buy toilet paper, buy water, run. When volcanoes erupt, we lose our cities. There's stuff happening on Earth that we do not control. We're victims of Earth being Earth. Now you want to control what's going on on another planet? Most of the natural calamities happening on our planet are beyond our control. And the idea of starting on a new slate seems kind of lucrative. Yet, there is a stream of drawbacks that still make DeGrasse think that the Mars idea is near impossible. The first reason is, of course, that Neil DeGrasse doesn't have so much faith in SpaceX. This could be out of many personal reasons for holding such a stance. And again, it's because he has so much faith in what NASA can do, to the extent that he is convinced that SpaceX could never rise above NASA. The delusion is thinking that SpaceX is going to lead the space frontier. That's just not going to happen. His strong statement was backed up by the fact that SpaceX cannot go to Mars alone. To this end, DeGrasse held many reasons. First, the cost of space travel. Despite what SpaceX has done and is still doing a lot to make space travel affordable to the ordinary man, the equation will change when Mars travel is involved. Taking a spacecraft to and from Mars is one thing, but taking a billion people and establishing a city there within Musk's lifetime is a matter that will incur serious costs. If Musk decides to sponsor his space endeavors from his pockets, you can be sure that he will be bankrupt in no time. On the other hand, if he decides to call upon investors, it would still be a big challenge. Let's say Musk wants to bring in investors. The eccentric question from them is, how much the project will cost? And as you guessed, it will be a lot. But how expensive? Some have estimated a $30 billion bill, which is quite a low estimate as compared to Congress, which charges the bill at $500 billion. Still, this is far below, considering the unprecedented costs space travel could bring. Then again, the million dollar question from the investors would be, what's the return on the investment? Probably the answer will be nothing initially. This is why Tyson said Musk would be kicked out of any bank loan office. Investors need business models, and Tyson doesn't see SpaceX having one. Plus, corporations need to satisfy shareholders, something Tyson thinks SpaceX can't do. While exploring Mars looks like an admirable goal, you realize that it doesn't hold that much profit margin. Number 2. Interests Establishing a city on Mars looks like a wonderful idea until you start to think about how many people will be willing to leave their cozy homes for the harsh conditions on the Red Planet. In an interview with Futurism, Neil deGrasse Tyson shared that the idea of living on Mars is entirely absurd. His reason. Only a handful will be interested in living on a foreign planet. 
The obvious thing that will strike you when you see the surface of Mars is the lack of trees and literally no evidence of life. Mars is a harsh planet despite the fact that it doesn't have hurricanes or volcanic eruptions. But DeGrasse has a better way of putting it. Antarctica is bummier and wetter than any place on Mars, and nobody is lining up to build condos in Antarctica. However, Musk is aware of these harsh conditions but still insists that building a city on Mars will be the best bid for humanity's survival from Earth's natural calamities and AI. Unfortunately, Neil deGrasse thinks that Elon Musk's dream might not be achieved as soon as he thinks. Building a new civilization on Mars will heavily involve terraforming, according to Tyson. Terraforming is to control the forces of your planet, in a way so that they do what you want them to do. And we are not really there yet. We are still far from controlling the forces of our planet. Building and controlling the forces of another planet will be an uphill task, which Tyson signed off by saying, I just think it's not as close in time as people are imagining. Finally, the prospects of living on Mars pose a big risk to humanity if Starship ever gets to Mars. According to a Mars mission radiation impact mission by NASA, if 100 astronauts were exposed to the Mars mission space radiation, in a worst case, 95% confidence, 5 to 7 would die of cancer later in life, attributable to their radiation exposure, and their life expectancy would be reduced by an average on the order of 15 years. Yes, yeah, so some of these are kind of <laughs> pie in the sky ideas, right? But th th let's let's get to what he's trying to get at. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to introduce warmth. You want to block the ozone. You want to block the ultraviolet, so that you can protect organic life. All right. So we have an ozone layer. It's the three oxygen atoms, O3, and oxygen uh, ozone likes ultraviolet light. So ultraviolet light comes from the sun and gets eaten by ozone gets eaten. And when you do that, the ultraviolet light doesn't make it to Earth's surface. So even though they say, oh, wear, wear uh, sunscreen and sunblock 45, yes, that's for the 1% of the ultraviolet that gets through the atmosphere. If you're above the atmosphere, you are fried. So the, because ultraviolet is highly hostile to organic molecules and what we're made of as life. So you want to protect, you want to give life a chance. So you want to not only heat Mars, you want to find a way to block the ultraviolet light coming from the sun. So you need some mechanism, if not ozone, or it just live underground. Since humanity's first visit to space, radiation has been a major problem. Things are not about to change just because Musk wants to build a city on Mars. Even the Artemis mission, which plans to build a lunar base, is deemed a big risk. Any human exploration beyond the Earth's magnetosphere exposes them to dangerous radiation levels. Scientific studies show that astronauts who visit the lunar surface are exposed to 200 to 1,000 times more radiation than on Earth. NASA already has strategies to help with the radiation problem by setting up shielded areas in the ISS stations. Sometimes the space agency alters the station's altitude to avoid the worst kind of solar storm. But what about setting up a whole city from scratch on Mars? An astronaut on Mars can receive up to 700 times more radiation than on Earth. This alone is a showstopper in safely exploring outer space. Radiation can damage the human brain, nervous system, cause cancer, and degenerative diseases. A victim of the merciless radiation is Scott Kelly, who spent more than a year in space. The harsh radiation noticeably damaged his DNA, which was different from his astronaut twin brother Mark Kelly. As of now, there's barely any reliable technology to keep a whole city out in space safe from radiation. There's only enough for tourist exploration of space, but for people to permanently dwell on Mars, it might take years before we see that. Even so, Neil deGrasse Tyson is positive about Elon Musk's contributions to the space industry and technology at large. And still praise him for things that are major contributions to the society. I'm not gonna cancel the entire character. That's, I'd, that's a, I, I'm going to say it, that's childish to do so. But one thing is for sure, if he doesn't buy your idea, there's no way of convincing him otherwise. Anyhow, what is your take on Musk's Mars idea? Is Neil being too pessimistic, or is he actually realistic? Let us know in the comments below. To this end, thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting tech news that you would not want to miss.